Why are you dragging him across the street? Could you not get him on his feet, sir? Honey, can you give me your last name, please? A H M A D I. And your first name? And your first name? Jason. This is really, really tight. It's really tight. Yeah, you can talk to me. Here comes more. I'm sorry, sir. Excuse me. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. He can't breathe. He can't breathe. He can't breathe. He can't breathe. Look at this. What's this? Are you going to tell a civilian? You can cough me. Let me breathe. Hey, good fucker. Hey, good fucker. Hey, good fucker. Hey, good fucker. Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Wednesday, September 21st, 2011, and I'm Darko. I always have to make sure I'm giving you the right date here because time is just always flying, it seems like. Uh, either way, my website is ggnonline.com, that's www.ggnonline.com. Um, also, I have a YouTube channel with a bunch of playlists and that. You can subscribe uh, to all the news bulletins. Uh, it's ddarko2012. That's ddarko2012. Otherwise, uh, you can follow me on email, and uh, anything I post on uh, ggnonline.com uh, will go to you via email. Um, we have a poll up here. Um, if you haven't voted yet, how likely is it that the standards of living will increase for the surf class in the next decade? 90% or above, 70% or above, 50 or above, or below 50%? So far, 100%, 30 voters say uh, below 50%. Um, so you can check that out. Uh, also, I have a donate button there. Also, uh, in uh, YouTube's video description, there's uh, links for uh, you if you want to donate. Also, all the headlines and links, uh, there's usually a lot, about 100 links in all three videos. 100 plus links to articles um, in that description so go in there and check that out okay i'm going to start moving here um those videos with the those police just manhandling people you know i the only thing i can say is i just please just don't let it get to you too much because that's just to show people that are still kind of on the fence that uh the police are scum and that's why we call them pigs because that's what they are and um they everyone thinks that they act uh, on behalf of the public, but they don't. They act uh, in behalf of the banks and um, and corporations and uh, basically Luciferians. And so that's why they do evil things that they do. And so we, you know, I show that so that those that are not really sure can just, you know, they keep seeing more evidence built up. That's what I'm doing when I show that. Like I said before, I'm building a case in art for an argument against what statism ultimately. So, you know, that's why I'm doing it, not to incite violence and go out and do uh, commit violent acts against uh, police or government or anything like that. Um, says here, uh, Wall Street sinks after Fed statement cites risk. So this is the biggest news. Stocks rumbled on Wednesday after the Federal Reserve said there was significant downside risk to the economy, even as it took another stab at boosting growth. Now, it's not really a stab at boosting growth, but it says... Euro falls on Italy's credit downgrade, so the euro sank to a seven-month low on Tuesday, helped by the news that the Standard & Poor had cut Italy's credit rating and the State Bank of China halted exchange swaps trading with several European banks. That's right, China, China's basically trying to bail out everybody, and it's, quote, unconditional. Right. It says here, uh, for commodities, I'll go through this briefly, uh, Brent crude was down 1%. 34 at 109 gas oil futures uh, down $15 uh, heating oil futures down almost $5 natural gas not much change um, just uh, pretty much all across the boards except for cocoa uh, commodities were down um, moving to metals we have copper $370.40 down $2.15 gold was down almost $26 trading at $1,783 so below that $1,800 mark Silver is at $39, so it dipped below the $40 mark, and it was down about $0.40. Cents. Going to keep moving here. Long-dated bonds soar on new Fed purchases. So, you know, this is, ties in with the big financial news. Uh, Long-dated treasuries soared in price, and benchmark 10 no yields fell to their lowest in over 60 years on Wednesday after the Federal Reserve. 
A cartel of privately owned banks said it will launch a new $400 billion bond purchase program. Of course, they're calling it the twist. I love that. It says uh, here uh, basically that they will evolve buying $400 billion of treasuries in the 6 to 30 year range by the end of June 2012 and selling an equal amount of debt with maturities of three years or less. It says here the Fed hopes that lower longer term interest rates will spur risk taking by lenders as they see higher yields through loans to companies and consumers and so to stimulate the sluggish economy which is threatening to tip back in recession. Well okay let's just go on a limb here and say that we're almost in a de I would say we're definitely in a recession heading towards a depression and they're talking about maybe getting into a recession and um and the whole point of this is to uh create what demand for borrowing and it's not so much spending where you can save and then you can spend no they they don't like that in this rigged economy banks who lend with interest and all that they don't like that and um so they want you to constantly borrow like the government and uh and use credit cards and that so that's what and it helps them basically so what they're doing is it's not helping real investment people want to invest in bonds whatever and get a good return on it no they're going to manipulate that now and turn those little uh levers or levers however you pronounce it and um and they're going to basically help the banks and uh so people borrow more money that they shouldn't be borrowing and it's going to hurt people that save and uh don't want to spend as much right now uh, but i just want to make sure that i put this out there i'm not a financial analyst i don't have extensive uh, education and uh economics so if you're someone in the comment board that wants to correct everything that i say go right ahead make your own videos and do that but otherwise, I'm just going to spit my little piece here because, uh, you know, it needs to be said. And um, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So, you know, yeah, you could go out in the comment board and correct me. And if I'm wrong, well, then that's cool. But I'm going to at least make a damn attempt here, you know, to put this out. It says, as the shadowy banking system imploded in Q2, Bernanke's choice has been made for him. And he goes in there and starts talking about uh, credit money and says here that with the data confirming the shadow banking system declined by $278 billion in Q2, quarter two, the most since uh, quarter two, 2010. It's pretty clear that Bernanke's choice has been made for him. It says credit money has collapsed by a whopping 25% since the peak $5.5 trillion of credit, and that's just not any credit, but the shadow and thus non-regulated credit has evaporated. They go in here and they, uh, they show charts. That's kind of covered it up. Um, and you can go in there and check that out. We'll keep moving here. The corporate bank run has started. Simons pulls $500 million from a French bank, redeposits direct with ECB. Goes on, says European companies now refuse to work directly with their own banks, and somehow the ECB or European Central Bank has become a direct lender cash. Uh, sorry, cash holder of only resort to private non-financial institutions. going to keep moving here. China to liquidate U.S. treasuries, not dollars. And I covered this before, but it says a key rate seller for China Central Bank let slip, or was it a slip that Beijing aims to run down its portfolio of U.S. debt as soon as safely possible? China pulls a rug from under. Europe halts French bank transactions and makes good on trade war uh, ultimatum aggravated by EU's lack of market economy recognition. They pull trading lines with French banks, express concern at the uh, euro's safety, uh, preferring U.S. treasuries, and indicate a clear preference for bonds over stocks. All the while, warning of growing trade tensions, consider the saber red. Then we have Beijing. China's aid to Europe is unconditional. Uh, Moody's uh, downgrades three U.S. banks, including Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and Citigroup. Then Bank of England, under pressure to print more money after its own report showed QE, quantitative easing, had a significant impact. Next up, Greece to cut pensions. Athens unveils new austerity measures to uh, secure international aid. So they decided to slash pensions tax low-income earners and place thousands of public workers in a special labor reserve this year. And uh, we're going to keep moving here for time's sake. IMF, U.S. economy may be weak for years. And this, of course, uh, they, they want what? Um, the government seem to step up with a debt reduction plan and more stimulus funding. In other words, more borrowing. Uh, says here, a U.S. lawmaker warns uh, cuts may revive military draft. I don't know how this makes any sense because how could you draft 
uh, people if you still don't have any money. That doesn't make any sense. It says here, UK hires extra tax collectors to police super rich. And do you think the Soroses and the Gates and all of them are going to be, uh, well, not really Gates, but those that kind of work outside the whole tax base. They set up this whole IRS system, and uh, yet they work outside it. And then those little guys that try to uh, get in that, those little offshore accounts, well, they're busting them now. They're busting their competition just like the big drug cartels are in Mexico. They bust out, take out their competition just like the big banks are in the U.S. They're busting, taking out their competition. That's what it's all about, consolidation. And so these guys, these Rothschilds and all them, they don't really pay taxes, so they're not going to have to worry about anything. Job centers to send poor and hungry to charity food banks says the first time in history that they will be have been passed on to charities in this way. It says ex Goldman trader accused of insider trading. No big surprise there. Raid at Gibson strikes sour note. That's right. It says here Justice Department raid on a famous guitar maker is prompting inquiries from Congress. A call to amend the act that prompted the raid in a fresh debate about the impact of federal regulation on jobs. Talking about a raid with SWAT teams on Gibson guitars. Uh, why? Because they were they were basically threatened. Uh, uh, to outsource their jobs outside the country. And, it, and if they didn't do that, then if they did do that, then all of this trouble will go away from them. That's what they said. I reported on this before. Uh, South Florida cop, we can videotape you, but you can't videotape us. But that's not true because uh, charges have been dismissed against a woman who videotaped a police. And Check this out. September 21st, this is kind of not breaking news, but it is for new news for today. Uh, charges dropped against man who faced life in jail for recording cops. And uh, it goes on here and it says, Michael Allison, a 41-year-old Illinois mechanic who faced life in prison for recording police officers, have had, uh, has had all charges against him dropped after a state judge ruled that his First Amendment rights had been violated following a trend similar rulings across the country that underscore the fact that it is not illegal to film cops. So there you go, Mr. Buddy in Florida. Sorry, ma'am, but your hair might contain explosives. Now TSA agents demand to search a woman's afro. TSA agent charged with statutory rape, and that's in Tennessee. Then uh, Homeland Security recruits jittery coffee drinkers to spot terrorists. That's right. And then Schmidt says Google has not cooked search results. So, and go in there and check that out. Uh, talk about Africa. Government wants social networks blocked, says MT. Then from Natural News, technology can seriously damage your health. And it goes in and talking about the WHO states very clearly the health risk from current exposure levels to electronic fields uh, from Wi-Fi, laptops, mobile phones, and iPads. Exposure uh, to them can increase the risk of cancer, brain tumors, autism, diabetes, chronic fatigue, hay fever, and depression. So you can go in there and see what people are doing. They're trying to find shelters away from Wi-Fi spots. Like in West Virginia, third of under 10s own mobile phones and that's by no accident they're the future got to get them first google opening smartphone wallets and uh, you're going to be able to pay with your smartphone that's the just another step towards mark of the beast libraries lend digital books to kindle that's the first step towards burning books uh, it says here, it's my boy's human right to have a three-inch ponytail. Father would draw his son from school after a roll over hairstyle. Then even BPA-free plastics leach harmful chemicals. Then we have, are these the most PC parents in the world? Couples raising a genderless baby to protect them. Then CDC recommends that students eat more at So poor Baltimore children were using an experiment as guinea pigs. Then we have children as young as eight film taking part in cage fighting matches. It's GGN. I'm Darko. Thank you.